Hi guys. Good morning. Cortana here. Welcome back to Draw My Life. We hope you are having a good day. Today we are talking about tobacco or the effects of cigarette smoking. Some of the material in today's video may not be suitable for children under 16. Disclaimer, the images in the video are animated. But tell a factual or non-fictional story. If anybody out there is a smoker, we are not judging you. The only purpose of this video is to bring awareness to tobacco. Hit the like button if you enjoyed today's video. Share it. Subscribe to our channel for more videos or videos just like this one. Please keep the comments warm and friendly. Keep an open mind and remove all judgment. This is a loving non-judgmental environment. Tell us what you learned in the comments. Okay. Here we go. So. Tobacco is the common name of several plants in the Nicotiana genus and the Solanaceae, Nightshade, family, and the general term for any product prepared from the cured leaves of the tobacco plant. More than 70 species of tobacco are known, but the chief commercial crop is Entobacum. The more potent variant N. rustica is also used around the world. Tobacco contains the highly addictive stimulant alkaloid nicotine as well as harmala alkaloids. Dried tobacco leaves are mainly used for smoking in cigarettes and cigars, as well as pipes and shishas. They can also be consumed as snuff, chewing tobacco, dipping tobacco, and snus. Tobacco use is a cause or risk factor for many diseases, especially those affecting the heart, liver, and lungs, as well as many cancers. In 2008, the World Health Organization named tobacco use as the world's single greatest preventable cause of death. The English word tobacco originates from the Spanish and Portuguese word tabaco. The precise origin of this word is disputed, but it is generally thought to have derived at least in part, from Taino, the Arawakan language of the Caribbean. In Taino, it was said to mean either a roll of tobacco leaves, according to Bartolomé de las Casas, 1552, or to tobago, a kind of L-shaped pipe used for sniffing tobacco smoke, according to Oviedo, with the leaves themselves being referred to as cohiba. However, perhaps coincidentally, similar words in Spanish, Portuguese, and Italian were used from 1410 for certain medicinal herbs. These probably derived from the Arabic ub, also ub, a word reportedly dating to the 9th century, referring to various herbs. Tobacco has long been used in the Americas, with some cultivation sites in Mexico dating back to 1400, 1000 BC. Many Native American tribes traditionally grow and use tobacco. Historically, people from the Northeast Woodlands cultures have carried tobacco in pouches as a readily accepted trade item. It was smoked both socially and ceremonially, such as to seal a peace treaty or trade agreement. In some native cultures, tobacco is seen as a gift from the Creator, with the ceremonial tobacco smoke carrying one's thoughts and prayers to the Creator. Following the arrival of the Europeans to the Americas, tobacco became increasingly popular as a trade item. Hernandez de Boncolo, Spanish chronicler of the Indies, was the first European to bring tobacco seeds to the Old World in 1559 following orders of King Philip II of Spain. These seeds were planted in the outskirts of Toledo, more specifically in an area known as Los Cigarrales named after the continuous plagues of cicadas, cigarettes in Spanish. Before the development of the lighter Virginia and white burly strains of tobacco, the smoke was too harsh to be inhaled. Small quantities were smoked at a time, using a pipe like the midwak or kisiro, or newly invented water pipes such as the bong or the hookah, see Thuklau for a modern continuance of this practice. Tobacco became so popular that the English colony of Jamestown used it as currency and began exporting it as a cash crop, tobacco is often credited as being the export that saved Virginia from ruin. The alleged benefits of tobacco also contributed to its success. The astronomer Thomas Harriet, who accompanied Sir Richard Grenville on his 1585 expedition to Roanoke Island thought that the plant openeth all the pores and passages of the body so that the bodies of the natives are notably preserved in hell and know not many grievous diseases, wherewithal we in England are oftentimes afflicted. Production of tobacco for smoking, chewing, and snuffing became a major industry in Europe and its colonies by 1700. Tobacco has been a major cash crop in Cuba and in other parts of the Caribbean since the 18th century. 
Cuban cigars are world famous. In the late 19th century, cigarettes became popular. James Bonsack invented a machine to automate cigarette production. This increase in production allowed tremendous growth in the tobacco industry until the health revelations of the late 20th century. Following the scientific revelations of the mid-20th century, tobacco was condemned as a health hazard, and eventually became recognized as a cause of cancer, as well as other respiratory and circulatory diseases. In the United States, this led to the Tobacco Master Settlement Agreement, which settled the many lawsuits by the U.S. states in exchange for a combination of yearly payments to the states and voluntary restrictions on advertising and marketing of tobacco products. In the 1970s, Brown and Williamson crossbred a strain of tobacco to produce Y1, a strain containing an unusually high nicotine content, nearly doubling from 3.2 to 3.5% to 6.5%. In the 1990s, this prompted the Food and Drug Administration to allege that tobacco companies were intentionally manipulating the nicotine content of cigarettes. In 2003, in response to growth of tobacco use in developing countries, the World Health Organization successfully rallied 168 countries to sign the Framework Convention on Tobacco Control. The convention is designed to push for effective legislation and enforcement in all countries to reduce the harmful effects of tobacco. The desire of many addicted smokers to quit has led to the development of tobacco cessation products. Tobacco is consumed in many forms and through a number of different methods. Some examples are, BDR thin, often flavored cigarettes from India made of tobacco wrapped in a tender leaf, and secured with colored thread at one end. Chewing tobacco is the oldest way of consuming tobacco leaves. It is consumed orally, in two forms, through sweetened strands, chew or chop, or in a shredded form, dip. When consuming the long, sweetened strands, the tobacco is lightly chewed and compacted into a ball. When consuming the shredded tobacco, small amounts are placed at the bottom lip, between the gum and the teeth, where it is gently compacted, thus it can often be called dipping tobacco. Both methods stimulate the salivary glands, which led to the development of the spittoon. Cigars are tightly rolled bundles of dried and fermented tobacco, which are ignited so their smoke may be drawn into the smoker's mouths. Cigarettes are a product consumed through inhalation of smoke and manufactured from cured and finely cut tobacco leaves and reconstituted tobacco, often combined with other additives, then rolled into a paper cylinder. Creamy snuff is tobacco paste, consisting of tobacco, clove oil, glycerin, spearmint, menthol, and camphor, and sold in a toothpaste tube. It is marketed mainly to women in India, and is known by the brand name Zipco, made by Asha Industries, Dinovac, Tana, and Ganesh. It is locally known as Misri in some parts of Maharashtra. Dipping tobaccos are a form of smokeless tobacco. Dip is occasionally referred to as chew, and because of this, it is commonly confused with chewing tobacco, which encompasses a wider range of products. A small clump of dip is pinched out of the tin and placed between the lower or upper lip and gums. Some brands, as with SNES, are portioned in small, porous pouches for less mess. Gutka is a preparation of crushed beetle nut, tobacco, and sweet or savory flavorings. It is manufactured in India and exported to a few other countries. A mild stimulant, it is sold across India in small, individual-sized packets. Heat not burn products heat rather than burn tobacco to generate an aerosol that contains nicotine. Dika is a Middle Eastern tobacco with high nicotine levels grown in parts of Oman and Hada, which is smoked through a thin pipe called a medwak. It is a form of tobacco which is dried up and ground and contains little to no additives excluding spices, fruits, or flowers to enhance smell and flavor. Hookah is a single or multi-stemmed, often glass-based, water pipe for smoking. Hookahs were first used in India and Persia 66 The hookah has gained immense popularity, especially in the Middle East. A hookah operates by water filtration and indirect heat. It can be used for smoking herbal fruits or moacel, a mixture of tobacco, flavoring, and honey or glycerin. Creeks are cigarettes made with a complex blend of tobacco, cloves, and a flavoring sauce. They were first introduced in the 1880s in Kudus, Java, to deliver the medicinal eugenol of cloves to the lungs. Roll Your Own, often called Raleigh's or Roll UPS, are relatively popular in some European countries. 
These are prepared from loose tobacco, cigarette papers, and filters all bought separately. They are usually cheaper to make. Snuff is a ground smokeless tobacco product, inhaled or snuffed through the nose. If referring specifically to the orally consumed moist snuff, see dipping tobacco. Snus is a steam pasteurized moist powdered tobacco product that is not fermented, and induces minimal salivation. It is consumed by placing it, loose or in little pouches, against the upper gums for an extended period of time. It is somewhat similar to dipping tobacco but does not require spitting and is significantly lower in TSNAs. Tobacco edibles, often in the form of an infusion or a spice, have gained popularity in recent years. Tobacco pipes typically consist of a small chamber, the bowl, for the combustion of the tobacco to be smoked and a thin stem, shank, that ends in a mouthpiece, the bit. Shredded pieces of tobacco are placed in the chamber and ignited. Tobacco smoke enemas were employed by the indigenous peoples of North America to stimulate respiration, injecting the smoke with a rectal tube. Later, Europeans emulated the Americans. Tobacco resuscitation kits consisting of a pair of bellows and a tube were provided by the Royal Humane Society of London and placed at various points along the Thames. Tobacco water is a traditional organic insecticide used in domestic gardening. Tobacco dust can be used similarly. It is produced by boiling strong tobacco in water, or by steeping the tobacco in water for a longer period. When cooled, the mixture can be applied as a spray, or painted onto the leaves of garden plants, where it kills insects. Tobacco is, however, banned from use as pesticide in certified organic production by the USDA's National Organic Program. Topical tobacco paste is sometimes used as a treatment for wasp, hornet, fire ant, scorpion, and bee stings. An amount equivalent to the contents of a cigarette is mashed in a cup with about a half a teaspoon of water to make a paste that is then applied to the affected area. Thank you.